Right, um, hello everyone, welcome to Crook Golf Club. Uh, John from John Hutton Golf Channel here now. I'm in a bit of a strange situation here. Um, the course is open. Um, it's New Year's Day, so Happy New Year to everyone. Happy 2022 to everyone. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit of a strange one, this. Um, I booked it on Golf Now, um, 18 quid for winter fees, which is all right. It's not too bad. I've turned up, so luckily I've, I've booked up and everything. Luckily I didn't turn up on the day and decide to, to book up, but um, well, I did turn up on the day, but I booked up online. And um, the pro shop shut, the clubhouse is shut, but I've walked around and the course is open, the, the signs up saying the course is open, the flags are out. So I'm presuming the course is open, um, there's absolutely nobody about. I mean, there's cars in the car park. I mean, there's about a dozen cars in the car park, so obviously there are people playing the course other than me. But this is a strange one. The pro, the, the pro shop shut. Maybe because it's New Year's Day, I just don't know. But the pro shop shut. Um, the clubhouse is shut. There's nobody about apart from cars who are obviously going to be on the golf course, and, and that's it. Um, it's winter mat, this first one's a winter mat, so I'm right up against where the, the, the blockade is, so this is as far as I can go, to be honest, unfortunately for you. Um, straight away we balls muggy. But yeah, it, it, it's a weird one this, it's a weird one, but anyway, we're here today crook, let's make the most of it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's just a very weird situation, I wonder why everywhere's locked up, maybe because New Year's Day, I don't know. I don't know. Um, see, I just I, I don't know where else to put this face. I don't know where else to put this face because I'm absolutely blocked off with the blockade here. Uh, I'll have to do, unfortunately, for the first shot. So here we go. First hole. It's just a little par four, if I remember rightly. Um, we've just got to hit it in between the trees and just get it down there. So here we go. I'm just going to take my hybrid, make sure I'm on camera. Yeah, it's, it's just, just a weird one. It's an absolute weird one, this crook. Anyway, here we go. We're off. It's uh, 12.30, I think. Yeah, 12.30. My tee was 12.36, but there's nobody about, so I'll just tee off. That's all right. Straight down there, right where the trees are. Not my best strike, but... Yeah, we're off. It's um, oh, oh, muddy. But um, yeah, it's 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 just a weird. It's it's just a weird setup. Um, so basically, people can just walk on the course. I don't I don't like the um, the idea of that. You mightn't have got a good thing of that, but it's, sorry, I couldn't go any further back because of blockade. Otherwise, you would have had the blockade in your way. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a weird one that, it's a weird one. The pro shop's shut, the clubhouse is shut. Um, yeah, just, just, it's a weird one, weird one. Obviously this is something that they just do with crook. Because <laughs> uh, I can't imagine them anywhere else, um, shutting the clubhouse and everything. I hope this trolley's all right. I did charge it up and everything, so it should be all right. There we go, it's away on it. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Just goes up the bank. So yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's a total weird one, that. It's a total weird one. People could just walk on the course. Luckily, I mean, if, if I turned up and I hadn't have booked it on golf now, I would have just said, well, what the hell do I do? I would just have to bloody slip, slip the money through the door or something, I just don't know through the letterbox, I just, I just don't know. I don't know what you would do. Or do you just say that to your round knackered? I just, I don't know, I don't know. It's just a weird one. It's a bit of a weird one, that, but anyway, we're out and playing. Uh, and here's my ball over here. But uh, no, no, the course is definitely open. Um, and there's half a dozen cars in the car park. And I saw a golfer walk back, back in to his car, so the, 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 it's definitely open. There's no uh, no question about it. It's just a bit of a um, bit of a weird setup. How far have we got here? One thirteen. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm on the other, I'm on the opposite side of the fairway this time, so I'm blo I'm blockaded out. Um, it's cold, it's windy, it's it's not great conditions to be honest, but we're going to try our damn best today. I'm going to hit a low hybrid. Try and get it somewhere near the green on this first hole because I'm blocked out. I shouldn't really have gone right side to be honest, but left side's more open. Here we go. This is only my second time playing the course, so yeah, here we go. Nice low hybrid. Try and get it up and run it onto the green. Oh, it's flicked the trees, but it's over. Yeah, it's knocked a bit of pace off it. It flicked the branch, unfortunately. I tried to curl it round and I cut it a bit tight. So it's going to be a little pitch onto the green, unfortunately, on this uh, on this first hole. Everything is working in kosher, isn't it? It's not... Uh... Yeah. And it is on 16... I can't... I can't be certain if it's on 69, if it's on the right viewing thing, but anyway, we're away now, we're away now, so it's a bit late, a bit late sorted out now, John, but um, yeah, okay, okay, we're um, we're all right, we just got, I think we've got a little pitch onto the green now, yeah, uh, the first time I played here, I was on the left-hand side of the fairway over here, and I wasn't blocked, I wasn't blocked, and I've, I've got off to the right this time, and this time I have been blocked, so the first hole... It's not going to be a complete disaster from there, but I have put myself in a position where I've been blocked off here at Crook. So this is Crook when it's at winter. So it should be interesting to see how it is in the winter. Now, I'm, oh, I'm in the bunker. I'm right up against the lip in the bunker. But never mind. It's OK. It's not going to be a disaster from there if I can get it out. Ah, oh, it is. It's right up where the lip is and all. Um, big green here, big green the first at Crook, very big green. It's weird, New Year's Day, I thought everyone would be out playing. I really thought, oh, New Year's, start the New Year, everyone. It must be like Christmas. But there is half a dozen cars, to be fair, it's just I thought it would be heaving. Obviously, being Crook, it's uh, not even. Um, okay. I'll take me 58 and blast it out, I think. 56, 58. God, my clubs are a mess. Yeah, let's hope this is a better experience than it was at Chesler Street because that was terrible. Look at this, look at this. I mean, Chesler Street was absolutely heaving and there's absolutely nobody on this course today. Absolutely nobody. Look, I can set my own pace and everything, so this is good. Here we go then. Second shot out the bunker. Quite a lot of sand, actually. It's quite compact, so here we go. Bit harder than usual, I think. That's good. Oh, I've hit the flagstick. Oh, 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 oh. I've hit the flagstick, golf friends. Oh, yes. That'll do very nicely. Well, that's something else I've done now. I've hit the flagstick out the bunker. The amateur Phil Mickelson, eh? What have I not done? Well, it's not dead, but... Uh, We've got a putt anyway, we've got a putt, right. Let's just bring this round, eh? The greens look in good condition for winter as well. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, if we go off the winter, that's fair enough. But, uh, it doesn't badly affect you if you're using your driver and stuff off winter, Matt. It's, it's actually hitting off the grass, which is good. We're hitting off grass. Well, there's no signs anyway that said winter, Matt. And even so, the pro's not here to stop us if I have to go off winter mats, but there was no signs that said winter mats. So, um, I think we're all good, to be honest. Here we go, then. This is for, uh, for par. First hole. Come on, John. Oh. Little bit of turn, little bit of turn, but... Oh, that was just in. Okay, it's going to be one of those days with me putting, I think. It's going to be one of those dodgy days because I'm a bit dizzy and stuff. 
it's a two putt. It's a two putt five to start off with. My God, it's windy here at Crook. It wasn't windy at Windyard, but by God, it's windy here. Right. So here we are, we're up here off the, yeah, uh, I think this, yeah, we're, I think we're off winter mats all the way around here at Crook, by the looks of it. Um, it looks like we're going to be off the winter mats to start off with, but uh, never mind, it's okay. You can't have everything your own way. Yeah, it seems to be recording all right. Okay, second hole is 148. Very windy today, very, very windy. Um, okay. Which way is the wind going? Is it helping? Bloody hell, it is helping. Okay, okay. Um, I think I might just take a, uh, a nice easy nine then because the wind's helping on this hole. Just going to hit it off the mat. I don't think I'm going to bother using a tee. I don't like using tees off these winter mats. Right. Uh, we'll move back a little bit for you. I found it amazing, the pro shop, New Year's Day and everything being shut. Wow, it's, 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 it's a mystery that to me, but anyway, I can take my time, I can set the pace here, make sure this is on yet, which is good, I can do my own pace, no excuses apart from the wind for a bad round of day really, here we go then, just put a little bit over here because I'm, right, let's go over a bit to right, so left to right, and I'll bring it back in John, hopefully. Oh, it's gone off to the right, it's going to kick off that bank. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, the wind is so strong, it just took it straight off to the right. Um, I'm going to be down on that slope and I'm going to have a difficult pitch shot up. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have a very difficult pitch shot up that slope. Um, and we know, we know the undulations here at Crook, how far that can go down from the previous round in the summer. I know how far that can kick down. That look took a nasty kick and I might well be having a hard pitch shot on the way back up, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see when we get there. Uh, but no, there's, there's need, no, 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 I can't see a soul on this golf course. I don't see anyone as of yet on this golf course. This is great, this is like the old private club, this is like Wynyard and... Uh, Oh no, I could see I could see two golfers in the distance there, two carrying the bags. I could see them right off in the distance. So no, I'm not on my own, there are golfers on. But I could see them right over in the distance there. And I mean I've I've teed off at like 12.30. So to be perfectly honest, I'm teeing off late. Most people in the winter will probably tee off at about 10, 11 ish to make sure they get a full round in. But uh not me. <laughs> not me. Right, um, yeah, my ball took a nasty, nasty kick. I'm thinking I'm going to be down here somewhere. Oh, here I am, here I am. Wow, that's a 9-9 nine -nine and I've gone way, way past the green. Right. Okay, this is going to be a very, very difficult shot for me. Very, very difficult. I mean, have people not got out better to do on New Year's Day? I mean, ah. Maybe it's just me, maybe I've just got into this mindset that I love golf that much that I'm the only one who plays golf and I just don't know. It's a weird one, isn't it? New Year's Day and it's absolutely empty. Yeah, I don't know, lad, but I need one thing, it's not going to affect my game. Right, well there I am there. The flag is just up here. I don't know how far it is, 26 yards, that reckon's 26. I reckon it's a bit further, I think it's about 30. So yeah, okay. When did we face? So make sure you get this over, John. Yeah, it's over. It's okay, we'll see where we are from there. It's 
So far, not so bad here at Crook. Not so bad, not so bad. Not brilliant, not a brilliant start, not a maj majestic start. But it's good enough, it's good enough to start off with. Right, let's get it up. Oh, hold on, we'll go around here. That's too much of a bank for this trolley. Uh, right, come round, come round, come round. Oh, there I am, just on the, well, it's actually rolled on a bit more than I thought. Okay, okay. Uh, where do we go from here then? I think I'll pop you up here, I'll pop you up here so you can have a, a down view on it. Okay, just go there. Right. There we go then. I've got this for par. Uh, yeah. Phew, by God, is it windy today. It wasn't windy like this when I was at home. Christ. And the weather forecasted it was 30, 12, 30 mile an hour winds are crook at the most, so this is a sh this is a shock. Here we go then. I think it's a little bit right to left, but we'll see once I put it. Cannot be certain, but I think it's right to left. It is right to left. It was right to left. I just bloody had a bad put on it. Bloody hell, this wind's strong. Yeah. Okay. That's fine, it's a four. Plus two through two. Not the greatest to start, but it's not bad either. It's not bad either. Okay. Now the next hole, I think, is over this way. Uh, hold on. We'll have a see what this little sign says. I've got to... I've, oh... Well, there's a raised, there's a raised proper winter mat over there, one of those raised, yeah, they're not great. Um, hold on a minute, let's have a look here. It says, next, what tea? I think we'll go down there, don't we? Hold on. You stay there, trolley, you just stay there for a second. I'm pretty sure we'll go down there, but they might make it into a winter course, so I'm not, I'm not, uh, I think, I think the third's down here. I think the third's down here. I don't, uh, if they have made it into a winter course, then I've made a mistake, but I, th I, th I thought the third was down here from the last time I played. But we'll go down and we'll have a look. Oh. Steady away, trolley, steady away, that's it. Right, okay, well, that says three there. Uh, oh. Um. Well, there's no markings on that mat. Um, what does this say? Make sure seventh tee is clear. Yeah, there's the golfers there. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I see they're on the floor. The discs are on the floor, that's fine. Um, right, okay. 368 yards. Well, you're gonna have to hit a driver off here, John. You cannot, uh, you cannot not hit a driver. Please tell me I'm going to be able to put my tee down on, on, on these uh, these mats. You don't, oh yeah, yeah, okay, they've got those little, uh, yeah, that's fine, okay. That's okay, girlfriends, don't worry. We can put a tee down in here. I thought for a second there, we don't have to use those stupid master things. So I haven't got any of them. You just pop it in here like that. That's fine. Yeah, it's winter mats all the way through, I think. But uh, it doesn't badly affect us as long as I'm hitting off the grass. It doesn't really bother me. Yeah, there's a couple of golfers up there in the distance too. So, basically, the course is open, everything's kosher, everything's good. There we go again, same kosher. Right. Here we go then. Basically where that top tree is, that red top tree is my line, I think. And I just see from there. Oh. Oh, well, it's just got over. I've towed it badly. It's off down where that tree is. That is not a good strike by me. 
In fact, where's my tea gone? That's the one thing I don't like about these winter mats, you just lose all your teas. Do you see it anywhere? That was an awful drive. Awful drive by me. Bloody horrible. Um, and I was driving the ball well at Castle Eden and now all of a sudden I'm hitting it like a wimp. Which um, I don't like, that's a big part of the game, you drive. And if you take me driving out of the equation, I'm just... I don't see where that tee's gone. No. Nah. That's what I don't like about these winter mats. You lose your tees far too easy. You don't know where they've gone. Let's have another quick look. I might pop across it, but no. Plus the snapping two off the winter mats that I don't like as well. And they're quite expensive, those frictionless tees that I use. They're not cheap. Anyway, it wasn't, it wasn't a good drive, that. It wasn't a good drive. I don't deserve anything from that, to be honest. Um, Staff hooked it off to the left. It is my first drive on the course, but it, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It's probably gone about 180, 190 yards down there. Just, just carried the gorge. No, nah, it wasn't a good drive. Don't deserve out from that. I don't deserve anything from that. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'm just down here where this tree is. Somewhere down here where this tree is. There's, there's a couple of golfers up there as well. So I've seen four golfers now. That's good, that's good. That is good. I'm not on me Todd. Right, down we go, down the bank. Now I should be somewhere down here. It just, it just got over the gorge, that drive, mind. It just got over the gorge and uh, it, wasn't, um, it wasn't particularly good. It wasn't particularly good. Here I am up here, okay. A little bit further on than I thought I would be, actually. Oh, it's still 240 for me. It's going, to be, it's going to be a good 220 yards, this, up to the green. Right. Not an easy golf course, this, by the way, Crook. Not an easy golf course. Sharply again, no tea times, absolutely fully booked until about 10 past one. So I had to come here. So yeah, that's the way it stands, unfortunately, 223. Yeah, it's gonna to have to be a hybrid all the way up there, isn't it? I haven't got another option. Because it wasn't a great drive. Right, here we go then. 218 yards. I'm, not, I'm probably not even gonna get anywhere near it because it's all the way up the slope, but we give it a good damn go. I feel all right, a bit chunky. In fact, it's gone nowhere. That's gone nowhere. Right, <laughs> it's gone. It's actually gone nowhere with the wind in my face, but uh, I hit it all right. I hit it a bit chunky, to be honest, but uh, <coughs> it's got absolutely nowhere. It's gone absolutely nowhere. So, yeah. Um, not much to say about that. Um, apart from the wind was right in me pet and it's, uh, it's just sort of brought the ball back round towards, brought it back towards me. Um, but it should be all right. I can, I can actually see it from here, so it's, it's not too bad. It's just a little pitch on now. But, uh, yeah, so far it's been better than Chester Street, put it that way. It's been an enjoyable round compared to Chester, oh, Chester yesterday. I don't know, I don't know what, what's the difference between yesterday and today. What's the difference here at Crook? Nobody on the course. I've got the whole course to myself, basically. And, uh Yesterday was just so. I've, I've not known, honestly, I have not known a golf club as compact as that. Holes left, right, and centre just crowded on top of each other. Golfers surrounding you, cramping you for space. It's. Jesus, I've known nothing like that, especially that first part of the course. It was very, very tight and cramped, and. Nah, it's just not for me. At least here you've got good spaces between holes. I mean, there is a hole just there. But you've got a bit of space between you and the other golfers. 
there it was so tight and compact it's as if they had no bloody land there man okay uh, 79 from there I might go 56 just to tack it 77 right okay which way is the wind going? Well, it's very sheltered here yeah it's sheltered here where the trees are the wind's blowing sort of this way so if you can see by the flag you can probably tell by the flag it's blowing like this sort of way which is why my ball did that but it's very sheltered down here but once I get this ball up in the air, it's going to badly affect the shot. I know that, so I'm going to have to go a little bit further left than I normally would. And hopefully it brings it back around. 78 yards. Oh, it has. It has. Stay away from that bunker. Oh, lad. Well, I think it's over the bunker, but I think it's going to be a pitch shot up. The winds just took it and took it round and... Oh, I knew, I knew the minute I struck that, I had it slightly left, but it just, it just gradually went round like that. The wind just took it. You see where the trees are here, it's sheltered. Um, but once we get up on the top of the hill there, it's not going to be sheltered. But never mind, never mind, it's okay, it's just going to be a little pitch. I'm, I'm sure I'm over that bunker. I'm sure I've got it over that bunker. You know, the fourth so over there, I think. I'm sure I've got it over this bunker. But I think it's a little pitch at the side here. I think it's kicked off the valley and it's going to be a little bit of a pitch. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what I mean with this golf course. If you don't have local knowledge, you're in a bit of bother. Now, that's my fault. I know the knowledge here. I know fine well I should have gone more left than that. With the wind taking it round, it's my own fault. But uh, still, I'm a little bit disappointed with that, how much the wind took it. Okay, it's a little pitch up onto the green. Not much green to work with, actually. Might go 58 rather than 56. There's my 58, there it is. Just give me a little bit more room to lob it up. Okay. That's it. Go on, son. Oh, I didn't run. Didn't run. But it's a good shot. It's fine. Uh, right, well, um, yeah, I'll take it up round here for you so you can see the, the, the putt. It's not, uh, it's not 100% brilliant. Well, it's all right, actually. It's not too bad. Uh, I, I wanted it to run a little bit more than it did. It stopped dead. Um, and these, these, these greens are actually quite good condition for the winter. In fact, they're in very good condition for the winter. And Crook, it's still got features. I mean, even without the... the I mean, you can see the trees have still got leaves and everything on it. I mean, this is... This is a good golf club, it really is. It's just you're going off winter mats, unfortunately. Right. How are you, John? Put this in. I've had one, two, three, four. Oh, this for a five then. Yep. Bit of water in the hole, but never mind. So we're through three plus three. As I say, nothing magical. Nothing absolutely um, to write home about. Nothing to put on the ITV news. But uh, we're okay, we're okay, we're doing all right. Come on, son, get up this bank. That's the only fault with this. It's not really good at getting up the banks. <coughs> right. Oh dear me, it's right into the sun, so we're not going to see the tee shot, I'm not going to see a bloody thing. But, uh, okay. Where are we at here? Where are we at? That's not the tee box there, is it? I mean, the last time I remember I was teeing up. Oh, here we are, here we are, okay. Okay, right. 
Go up the bank. Yeah, I'll try and get it as far back as you can, but there's this horrible rough stuff here, but I'll try and get it as far back as I can, please. Right, come on. It's as far as it's going to go, I think. Otherwise, it's going to go into that valley, into that swampland. Right. Well, here we go. This is just a little par three, 173. Well, it's not little. I remember last time, I think I was teeing off over there. I was, I was teeing off over there, so it's about the same distance as the summer distance, 173. Uh, right. And again, it's sheltered here. But by the time I get to that, um, by the time we get out of that uh, sheltered area where all these trees are, it's going to be carnage with the wind. It's flapping away the flag there, you can see it. You can see it's strong. Um, it's just which way is it going? It'll be absolute carnage once I get this up in the air, I know that. Right, it's going that sort of way. Yeah, that's that sort of direction it's going that way. Okay. 173, 6 iron, I think. 6, 6 iron. Right. Just to the left there. Okay. Here we go then. Slightly right hand side, John, it should come back round with the wind. In fact, I'll just move it back a little bit here because these mats are a bit uncomfortable when you're right up, up front of them. Here we go. Now, I don't know where that's gone. I think I, I, I initially struck it over to the right. And after that, I can't see. It was just, it was just in the sun. So it's going to be pot luck when we get down there where it's at. It'll be pure, pure pot luck. It'll be pure pot luck. It actually only took me about 25 minutes to get here, you know. The traffic, there was no traffic. I thought New Year's Day, oh, again, there might be a bit of traffic and stuff, but it only took us about... In fact, not even that. I set off at 11.40 and I got here at 12, 12.03, so it took 23 minutes. So, yeah, um, it wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. But uh, I thought to myself, no, no, I'll, I'll do crook. If I can't get on sharply, I said I would do crook again. I fancied crook. So, yeah, here I am to see what it's like in winter. And to be perfectly honest, Apart from the winter mats, everything else is in brilliant condition. It really is. It's in really good condition. Um, can it moan? Can't complain. Apart from the winter mats, of course, which if the rest of the course is in decent condition, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm not. Uh, I'm not that bothered. I'm not that bothered to be honest, unless because it's not going to really affect your shot with the driver. The only thing I don't like with them is that I lose a lot of. A lot of um, a lot of tees, right? Now I'm going to have to have a scatter about here because I, I just I just don't know I just don't know where my balls at. I honestly don't know. Um, this is this is anyone's guess where the balls are. I'm just going to leave it here because I'm blocked off. But um, I'm going to have a good scout about for my ball. There's the flag. And when I find it, I'll come back to you. But. Uh, This is anyone's guess where my ball's at. Right. We'll just have a scout about. It's got to be somewhere in the vicinity. It cannot just be lost. Oh, here it is. I've got it. I've got it. Right. Um, oh, bugger it. I'll come all the way around for you then. Uh, well, actually, I can't because from then, from then on, I can't get back up the slope. It's blocked all the way around. Oh, I'm sorry, you're going to have to. Um, you're just going to have to put up with this view. Um, okay, right. Let's get it good on the flag for you. 
Right, I'm just down there in that little dip, so I'm gonna have to take me again. I'm gonna have to take me 56, I think. Where is me 56? There's me 56, and I have to take me putter. And uh, well, I was gonna say see us in five minutes, but if you can hear us on the wireless mic, hopefully. Um, yes, yeah, so it's just a little pitch up. Uh, and of course, I mean, I, I hit it off to the right, so the wind must have took it all the way around. Must have. I can't. I can't think of anything else that it's done. Um, okay, I'm just going to place it. It's in a bit of a muddy patch here. Okay. Fifty-six. Just pitch up, I think. it's all right but it's not uh, it's not got the run that I wanted but uh, again this is a difficult path through this. I'm just gonna just gonna clean my ball yeah it's a difficult path through this it's not uh, it's not easy especially with the wind howling it's, it's not an easy hole at all and this is left to right Tricky putts as well on these on these greens. There's no easy about crook. Go on, go on. Yes, get in. I didn't think I gave it enough there for a second. Just for a second, I thought, no, I haven't gave this enough. But it's in. It's a par. And we're through four plus three, I think, which isn't so bad. Right. Ah, now this is when it gets a bit tricky. This is when it gets a bit tricky. Um, I think you go over in this direction. Oi, right, trolley, that's it. Uh, this is when it gets a little bit tricky. There's two, there's, there's tee boxes side by side, and I've done this before. I nearly went off the wrong tee box the last time. I've got to be just a little bit careful here. We're on to the fifth now, so I've got to be looking for the fifth hole. Right. Well, there's the red there. Yeah, that's like the eighth or something, isn't it? That's like the eighth, so I don't want to be there. Um, well, there's the red tees there. See, they've got a perfectly good grass tee box. I don't like that. I do not like that when they've got a perfectly good grass tee box. And we might have to be going off the winter mats. I just, I don't like that. Uh, all golfers, please keep to the path. Thank you. All right. Uh, right, well, this is the original tee, but the seventh buggy route. No, I'm not on the. I'm on the fifth. I'm on the fifth here. Uh, oh, here we are. Yeah, you see what? Nah, I kind of go off the. I kind of go off the, off the reds. That's too far back. That would be cheating. But uh, this is the fifth here. Yeah, the fifth. There we go. Um, yeah, we can't. We can't. We can't do that. That's. <laughs> that's. Um, that would be cheating because they're a good. 60 yards further up. Um, just clip this back on. So yeah, we can't we can't do that unfortunately. Where are we at? 368. 368 yards. 372. Right, well, it's gonna be a driver. It's gonna be a driver up there. Yeah, I remember this one up the slope now. It's quite a tough hole, this as well. It's a long hole, this. You've got to get a good drive away, otherwise you're absolutely buggered. Right. Hopefully everything's good on the camera. Yeah, you've got to get this right up there with a good drive, otherwise you are absolutely knackered. And I think last time I had a good drive and I was still in the summer and I was still a good 150 odd yards away. So God knows what I'm going to be here. 
If I don't get a good drive away here, I've got, I've got to get a good drive away. Absolutely vital I get a good drive away here. Here we go. Ah, nah. I mean, it's, it's all right, it's, it's flat, but I mean, it's, I've not got the height on it. I'm not quite getting it with this driver. Where's me, uh, where's me T got? Oh, there it is, there it is. I found it. I found it. <laughs> I found it this time. Um, I'm not quite getting the height. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It might be I'm hitting down on the ball, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong or if I'm forcing myself to swing too hard. I don't know, but uh, be driving. I mean, it's funny how it just comes and goes, me driving. Sometimes I can absolutely blitz me drive and I'm thinking, great, I'm doing really well. And other times it's just a duffer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should go back to that alpha driver. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it, it's, it, uh, right, it's hard. It's, winter golf's hard. It's not... It's not an easy winter golf, let's be honest. It's not an easy game, winter golf. But no, um, through four plus three, I'll take that. I'll take that at Crook. What did I score last time? 90, I think it was 93 or 94 I scored last time. As long as I do better than that, and I can come off and say I did better than what I did in the summer, that'll be an achievement in itself. I did. I had three terrible holes in the summer. That them last three holes. When I... <laughs> When I knew that 85 was gone, I, that was it. I just mentally disintegrated. <sighs> Plus then it was the start of all this other chronic stuff and I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. And I was just like, what the hell's going on here? I'm sweating, I'm starting to get pain, I'm bloody. And it just came out of the blue and I just thought, what the hell is this going on? But I'm used to it now and I know how to deal with it. I know how to cope with it, all this stuff. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's just over here actually, it's not got as far as I think, but it's, it's all right, it might be about 180 yards or so. So it's not too bad. And it, there are trees on the right here, but I just hope I'm not blocked off. This is the one where you've got to go off to the right, the left, sorry, and it'll take it down to the, down the, uh, down the slope, this hole. I know this one very well. I know it very, very well. Okay. I've only played the course once, but I do. I do know this very well. I'll tell you what, I'll tighten this. Oh, it's going to have to be a little bit loose again. But uh, yeah, right, we've got from here, bloody hell, 193. It's going to have to be the hybrid by the time I get there. It's going to be about 185, but up the slope, it's going to be a hybrid. Right, I don't like these shots. I'm, no, I'm not very good at these shots on an upslope. I'm not very good at these at all. I sometimes just duff them and top them and get height with me hybrid. So yeah. That tree on the left there, just to the left of that, and it'll come back round, hopefully. My God, this isn't easy, this course. That's perfect. That is perfect. The only question I've got to ask myself there is, have I gave it enough? Up the slope, that's the only question I've got to ask myself from 185 or 5 hybrid up that slope. Um, the wind I don't necessarily think is helping me, I think it's drifting off to the left again, the, the right again. So I don't necessarily think that's, that's in my favour. But uh, it's alright, it's down there. It is down there. So it's alright, it's okay, we're fine. We're okay, we're down there, we're fine, we're okay, we're good. So yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean even Crook itself, you know, you have to go you have to go through the town centre of Crook to uh, to get to the golf club and even and even the town centre was uh, quite quiet. I thought it's this is strange for New Year's Day. I thought we'd chock a block. I know one place that will be chock a block. <laughs> And that's the metro. 
Hey God, I went on the uh, the 28th of December, was it? After me appointment, my dad says, oh, I just want to pop to the metro to get some things, uh, some trousers and stuff for box beds and stuff. I says, no, how are I says, how are No, 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 no. He says, what, it's near Christmas and stuff, man. It'll be quiet. It's after Christmas, it'll be quiet. I went, no, 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 no. Do we really need to go to the metro? Well, you know, get something to eat there. I says, oh, all right. I get there. God almighty, the queues for the toilets, man. You know what I did at the finish? Because, oh, excuse me. Because of me conditioning and everything, I had to rush like mad. And I had to use the Audion one, the cinema one, because every single toilet was just compact. Right, where's my ball? The only question I've got to ask myself here is, where's my ball? Don't think about other stuff. I mean, I hit that well, you know, and I'm not seeing it. Oh, this could be anyone's guess, this. The way I hit it, I thought, oh, that's great. It might even be at the back because I've hit it so well. Oh, there it is, there it is. My God, the slopes took it all the way around. My God, the slopes took it all the way around. Um, okay. All right. Right, um, now it's the bother. You saw, you saw, I hit it exactly where I wanted it. See that green tree on the left there? Just to the right of the flag, I hit, that was my line. And I hit it just to the left of that and I thought, brilliant. Uh, and that's how much the slope and the wind has, it's took it all the way around. But, uh, we are still recording, aren't we? Yeah. But uh, now it's the bother. <laughs> now it's the bother, it's just a nice little pitch. Uh, onto the green from here, I think. And I'm, oh, it's swampland. In fact, oh, for heaven's sake. Right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna knock it back here where it's a bit drier. It's place and rules, so I'm allowed to be no nearer the hole, but, right. You can't, I can't hit it out of that swampland. It's just unfair. I mean, look where my trolley's gone. Look at that mark for my trolley, how, how bad it is. Right, here we go. It's a nice little chip on. On the 56. Slightly to the left, it'll come back round. Right, come back round, come back round, come back round off the slope. Well, again, it's nothing, it's, it's good steady golf. It's not a miracle shot though. But uh, I've left myself a chance. I've left myself a chance there for par. Um, right, we'll go over here so we don't wreck any more of the grass for them. Yeah, not, not a miracle shot by any means, but uh, still a little tricky putt. But we've got a chance for par here, girlfriends. That's the main thing. We've got a good chance for par. I'll just leave the trolley here for you. Yeah. Put it round there. Yeah, good, solid chance for par. Let's be put a... Is this the sixth? I don't know, we'll see after this. If it is, it's the end of part one, isn't it? Right, come on, John, get this for par. That would be good. If you could get through six plus four, you've done bloody well to start off with, mate, on this course, because this is not easy, Crook. This is not an easy golf course. Come on, left to right, come on. You can do this. Focus, concentrate, left lip, come on. In fact, just outside the left lip. Oh! I thought I had it turned at the last second. Well, never mind, it's a five. Damn it, I still played that hole pretty well, you know. I still played that hole pretty well. I'm still happy with that, but uh, I just wish. No, we're coming to the six now. We're coming to the six now, that's only five. So that's five plus four, I think. I think that's five, five through four, five plus four. But no, um, I, I played that hole all right. I played that hole very well, I thought. Maybe drive could have got a bit more height, but even then, what was it going to gain an extra 10, 15 yards at the most? It's tough up the bank there. I've played that hole at par four pretty well, I think, considering the circumstances. Right, here we go, number six. Yeah, this, 
I remember this one as well. This is a little tricky one. Uh, yeah, here's the mats over here. Right. I think the ladies have got perfectly good grass tees there. I just, I don't like this, you know. We haven't, I mean, I'm all for equal rights and everything, and that's why I don't like this. Why do we have to go off winter mats? And yet the women have got perfectly good tea boxes. Surely to goodness, we're entitled to perfectly good tea boxes as well. But uh, again, that's another, I mean, I could go off them, but it's, it's cheating really. It's technically not an official round, but when there's like five yards difference or something, yeah, I would do it, but that's another 20 yards or so. And technically it's not an official round if I did that. So I'm not going to do it, unfortunately. 326 driver out again I'm not going to be able to see where this is going because of the sun in my pet proper winter golf this you don't even know where you're hitting the ball okay plenty of room space off to the left you don't want to be right because that's where all the cack is right again I can't get further back for you I mean I can but I'm going to have to go all the way around up, up the stone wall and I cannot be bothered Nah, sorry, you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to cope with it. Here we go, straight down the middle, John. How are you? Nice big drive, get a bit heightened at this time. This is on neutral plus two, yeah. <laughs> really splash me driver there. I'm sure you know, I'm sure you know Uncle Colin. I just hope Uncle Dave is not watch this. I'm pretty sure you know you kind of smash a ball, smash your club by hitting the ball. I'm sure he's He's probably sw swung his club or something and accidentally hit one of these things and he smashed his club. That's how he's probably done it. He's probably took a swing and accidentally not known it's there and gone crack. I've never known anyone break the club in two by hitting the golf ball. <laughs> but uh, you never know, he might have. Uh, I just don't know. It's, it, seems a bit, it seems a bit strange how he broke his driver by doing that. Here we go. Now I don't know where the hell that's gone, I don't know where my tea's gone, I'd, oh here it is, it's straight back here. <laughs> I don't know much to be honest, so I'm going to have to just walk down there and just hope it's somewhere down there. I didn't see a damn thing because of the sun, like I say, it's in my pet, but uh, we'll put that back up here. We'll see, we'll see, it's not, uh, I don't think it's a lost ball around, I think I've hit it all right, it's just a question of where is it down there. I'm going to have to scatter like mad to find it. <sighs> so far it's been alright, I mean, like I say in winter golf, if I go through plus one all the way through here, 71 and shoot, 71 plus one, 18, would be 89. If I shoot, if I break 90 here, I'll be delighted. I'll be delighted because it's a tough golf course this. It ain't easy crook, let me tell you, it's not an easy golf club. Not an easy golf course at all. And I would suggest to anyone who wants a challenging course that's undulating, that's unique, it's mature, and it's got all, everything a golf course needs, come to crook, because it's, it's a challenge, trust me. It's a challenge and it's a beautiful mature course, and this is one of my favourites now, actually. I, I, I really enjoy this golf club because everything about it is... Uh, I don't know why, I don't know why I haven't come back here, to be honest, I don't know why. Uh, certainly better than Chester Street yesterday, let me tell you. God almighty, Chester Street. That was a free-for-all, that, I mean, the first hole. I've got, I've, got, I've got the footage, I'll show some of you, I've messaged some of you with the footage, what happened. I was on the first hole, and... Uh, you know what, this is such a big, bloody, expansive fairway, I just don't know where the hell my ball's going to be here. It could, it could be anywhere. Um, I think I'll be a little bit further down than this. Yeah, Chester Street, that was just a free-for-all, that. It really was. I just don't know where the hell my ball's going to be here. I just don't know. It could be absolutely anywhere. 
it's such a big expanse of fairway and I just, I just don't know where the hell this could possibly be. This could be a half an hour job if I do find it. Right. I'm not, I'm not seeing it anywhere to be honest. Uh, right, you're going to have to really bear with us here. You're going to have to really bear with us. Um, it could be absolutely anywhere. And I don't really want to drop a ball. I just, I, 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 the minute I hit it, I just didn't have the slightest idea where it went. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't even give you a rough guide, but I hit it pretty well. But I just... You know, when you can't see where you're hitting the ball, it's, it's just a disaster zone, this. It's a bloody disaster zone, this, mind. When you do, it's such a big expanse of fairway that it rolls down off to the left. You've just got no chance. You've got no chance, man, if you don't know where you're hitting it. Uh, such a massive, big, expansive area, this. And it could be absolutely anywhere. It could be anywhere. What's that up there? That's not a ball, is it? No, I don't think it's going to be that. It wouldn't be that simple, John. It wouldn't be that simple. I tell you what, it'll be, it'll be somewhere in this vicinity. It'll be somewhere. Just there, where the hell have I hit it? Oh, this, this is a joke. And you don't have a clue where you've hit your, hit your ball. You see, everything here runs down to the left. That's my problem. I'm looking up on the right. And I'm thinking to myself, everything runs down to the left here. So my best chance is going to be down this way. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. I'm, I'm not seeing a damn thing. And it might very well just have to be a drop. Because... Uh, well, I said, I said I didn't have the first clue where I hit that. I hit it straight into the sun. And I just didn't have the first clue. The chances are it's down here on the left somewhere. But where it is, is anyone's guess. I just don't know. I just don't know. And I'm just going to have to drop one by the looks of it. When you're hitting the ball and you don't know where your ball's going, oh, hold on, what's this? No, I thought for a second there I saw a little green green thing and uh, I haven't seen it. Um, to be fair to myself, if it was a good drop, I'd probably have found it by now because I've, I've, I've scouted this bloody fairway and I've... Um, I've not seen a damn thing. I've not seen a damn thing. So I'm just going to drop one. This happened in the summer, you know. This happened in the summer. Where um, somebody had to tell me where my ball was. And it was a bit embarrassing, really. Because I, I, I just hit it. And I just went, I don't have the first clue where that's gone. I don't have the first clue. <sighs> Just one of these holes, I think. Right, I'll just pop a ball there. Um, 99 yards. It might be a little bit further down than this. It might be more sort of down that way. I'll play this shot and I'll still have a look about. But I've just got a horrible, horrible feeling. It's just one of these balls I'm going to have to accept is gone. I take the 52 and I want to really attack it. It's a shame, you know, because I felt as if I drove that pretty well. Right. 97, okay. Take you to the right and it'll come back round. Oh, 
Again, the wind's got it. The wind's got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kicked off where that tea box is. Damn it. Right. Well, where else could it possibly be? Where else could it possibly be? I'll have a look down here on the right-hand side again, but I've got a horrible, suspicious feeling. It's just, it's just one of these mystery balls that you've just got to accept and move on. I mean, you never know, I could have completely duffed it and gone on the right-hand side, I just don't know. I just, I, I just don't have the first clue. But um, the chances are it's going to be over here on the left. If not, I'm just going to have to accept it and move on. That's a lost ball. Yeah, I think it's just one of them. You've just got to accept it and move on. There's a two ball now. We've just played that par three. We're going to be playing that hole up there, then they're coming back down here, so I've got to get a move on. I don't want to be holding them lads up. Ah, it's a damn shame, that. It's a damn shame, because I thought, I thought, I hit that all right. I really did. I thought, oh, I've hit that okay. I should be able to find that, but ah, I'm well past it now. I'm not going to be here. But when you're, um, when you hit the ball into the sun like that and you just can't see where it's gone, you, you've had it. You've had it unless it's in the fairway, the vicinity of the fairway. You've, you've basically had it. Right. So unfortunately, that's going to have to be, well, if we do it properly, say three off the tee, that'd be fourth. Ah, oh, never mind. Just annoying that. It's just, uh, in fact, I'll put it over here where it's dry. It's just a little bit annoying that because, um, well, you know why. I thought I hit that pretty well, that drive. Right. Uh, I'll show you where we shot is because I've got a bottle thing at the back there. So this is, uh, I've had, that would have been fourth. This is my fifth coming up. I'll have to stop it on a penny, you know. It's made me angry, that. It really has. I really thought I did all right there. Let me drive. Oh, oh. It's all right, couldn't do much more with that. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's annoyed me, that. It has annoyed me because, uh, like I say, I thought I drove it pretty well. And to be fair to myself, if I did drive it well, I should have found it by then because I was scouting the fairway. I was scouting all the way around the fairway and I just didn't see it. Whoop. Bloody hell, you see this is the wind's picking up here. There we go, that's what I've got left. I'm very, very near the hole, so I don't know if you'll see it all. But uh, yeah, okay. I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not in a good mood after that, let me tell you. I'm not in a good mood at all, so five I've had. <sighs> It'll be somewhere there, you know. It will be somewhere there in that facility. I don't think I hit it bad, that's so bad that it um, it was a lost ball. I thought I hit it pretty well, to be honest. Well, how are you, John? You've got to hit it. I think that's a seven. Oh, not a great way to finish it off there, a seven. Not a great way at all. Right, um, where do we go from here? Number five, number seven, where's number seven? Is, is, is it? Oh, I think number seven's over here, actually. I think it's this little par three, if I remember rightly. But yeah, that's not a great way to finish part one. 
I thought I hit me dry fine. I, I might look on the camera and I might see it go flying off to the right or something and say to myself, well, I wasn't that good, to be honest. But uh, I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought I hit it all right. Right. Um, there is number seven. But I'm not seeing the mats anywhere. Um, number seven. Right, well that's number seven, but where, where's, where's the mats at here for number seven? I'm not, uh, I'm not picking it up here. Um, is that it down there? That might be it down there. I'm not, I'm not sure of mine, but I'm going to have a, a look. No, that's just a path. Uh, huh. Where the hell am I teeing off here? I'm sorry, girlfriends, I'll be with you in a second. Uh, anyway, that's the end of part one. See you later for part two. Bye for now. Bye.